My dear friends, the religious authorities refused to accept Jesus' authority to heal and to speak in the name of his heavenly father. They charged Jesus as a Sabbath breaker and as a blasphemer. They wanted to kill Jesus because he claimed the same authority and power as God. He claimed equality with God, something no human could say without blasphemy. Jesus answered their charge of breaking the Sabbath law by demonstrating God's power and purpose for creation and redemption to save and to restore life. God's love and mercy never ceases even on the Sabbath. Jesus continues to show the Father's mercy even on the Sabbath day of rest. When they charged that Jesus was making himself equal with God, he replied that he was not acting independently of God because his relationship is that of a father and son relationship. If we wish to see how God reacts to sin and how he responds to our sinful condition, then we must look to Jesus. The mind of Jesus is the mind of God. The words of Jesus are the words of God. Jesus also states that his identity to the Father is based on complete obedience. Jesus always did what his Father wanted him to do. His obedience was not based on submission or power, but on love. The unity between Jesus and the Father is a unity of love. We are called to submit our lives to God with the same love and obedience which Jesus demonstrated for his Father. Jesus states that to accept him is life and to reject him is death. Are we ready to follow the Lord and to leave behind whatever is false and contrary to his will? Let us pray. Lord, increase my love for you and unite my heart and will with yours, that I may seek only what is pleasing in your sight. Amen.